Hello in this video I am going to show you how to uninstall Skype for Business completely from your PC. There are various methods, based on how Skype for Business is installed on your PC. Don't worry, we will guide you through all forms for uninstalling Skype for Business from your PC. So let's get started. Method 1 is to uninstall Skype for Business from the control panel. The simplest way to uninstall Skype for Business would obviously be to uninstall it from the control panel. However, there's a catch. This method can only be used to uninstall Skype for Business if you have a standalone version of the program. If the Skype for Business you have is a part of the Microsoft Office, Skype for Business won't even show up as a program you can uninstall in the control panel, as it is integrated into all of your other Office applications. If you do have a standalone version of Skype for Business, you can uninstall it by following the given steps. Right-click on the Start Menu button. Go to Control Panel. Click on Uninstall a program under the Programs section. Wait for the list of programs installed on your computer to be populated. Find Skype for Business and select it. Then click on Uninstall. Follow the instructions and to get through the uninstallation process. Once the uninstallation is complete, click on Close. This method only works if you have standalone version of Skype for Business. Method 2 is to remove Skype for Business from your installation of Office. If you acquired Skype for Business as part of a Microsoft Office, you can remove Skype for Business from your computer if you simply remove the application from the Office installation. However, there's a catch here as well. This method will only work if you have an MSI-based installation of Office and not a click-to-run version. MSI-based Office installations are those what were actually installed on computers using a Microsoft installer for the respective version of Office. If you do have an MSI-based Office installation, you can remove Skype for Business from it. Follow these steps. Click on the Start Menu button. Go to Control Panel. Click on Uninstall a program under the Programs section. Search for Microsoft Office and select it. Click on Change. In the Installation Options window, scroll down to the listing for Skype for Business. Open the drop-down menu located next to it and click on Not Available to select it. Click on Continue and go through the rest of the process. Once done, close the control panel and check to make sure that Skype for Business actually has been uninstalled. Method 3 is to stop Skype for Business from starting automatically. Most users want to uninstall Skype for Business because they see it as a nuisance and it simply bothers them when they see it because they don't need it. Well, you don't necessarily have to uninstall Skype for Business for that, you just need to make sure you don't see it. You can stop Skype for Business from starting automatically. Doing this will not remove the application from your computer but you will no longer see it. To stop Skype for Business from starting automatically, simply launch Skype for Business. Click on the Tools button represented by a gear. Go to Tools and click on Options. On left side click on Personal. In the right pane of the window, uncheck the checkboxes next to the Automatically Start the App when I log on to Windows and start the app in the foreground options to disable them. Click on OK. Now click on the Tools button. Go to File and click on Exit to close Skype for Business. You will no longer be bothered by Skype for Business on your computer even though it will still be there. The fourth and final method is to uninstall Microsoft Office. If you are dead set on uninstalling Skype for Business from your computer, the Skype for Business you have on your computer is a part of your installation of Microsoft Office and is not a standalone version. Your installation of Office is a click-to-run installation, and not an MSI-based installation. There is only one way you can remove Skype for Business on your computer, by uninstalling Microsoft Office. If you can make peace with uninstalling Microsoft Office to get rid of Skype for Business, simply open the control panel, click on Uninstall a program under Programs, locate and click on the Microsoft Office. Click on Uninstall and follow the instructions to go through the uninstallation process and uninstall Microsoft Office. Once Microsoft Office has been successfully uninstalled, Skype for Business won't exist on your computer. That's it in this video. Hope the problem is more likely to be solved. Subscribe to get tech-related stuff in future.